The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Italy, and they take on Albania. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Jorginho! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Played over, not the best clearance, and he takes on the shots. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. And the starting 11 for Albania. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Promising looking attack. But they dealt with the threat first. And the focus is on Nicolo Barella with good cause because he is the sort of player who can decide a game through his own efforts. And striking it on the volley, just no luck. Well, good technique, but just wide of the target. Chikaneshi might be able to get in behind the defence. Playing it short. an effective clearance Jorginho nice weight on the pass Jorginho still a chance oh the referee points to the spot penalty This to make it 1-0. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here we can see it again, and it's a good penalty, you have to say. Straight down the middle, keeper's committed, and all he can do is watch it sail in. Cool as you like. Ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Mitai. No space for them here. And Italy with the ball again. Real chance. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory.
Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So, 2-0 now. Asani. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Scalvini. Nicolo Zaniolo. Barella. It's there for him. And a crisp effort just over the top. Mistake by the keeper. Oh, breezing past him and fine goalkeeping. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Oh, super header but the goalkeeper was up to the task and it's gone behind for the corner and still dangerous well able to survive that attacking push well those stats back up what we've been watching it's been oh Stuart opportunity here and a goal that's his brace they just can't keep them quiet Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. And support available. Effort from long distance. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. And Italy regaining possession. Barella. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. A lopsided contest, 4-0. They stopped them in their tracks. Nicolo Zaniolo. Barella. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. Well, it petered out. Giacomo Raspadori. Trying his luck, and saved by the keeper. So 
So the corner played into the box. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And over it comes. And you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Lirto Uzuni. Excellent strike! A strong hand on the ball. And with that, the first half draws to a close. One man figuring prominently is Nicolo Barella. Stewart, he's... So back underway here into the second half. Sloppy in possession from Italy. Cicaleschi. Davide Fratesi, and he takes it on! And the keeper more than equal to it. And time for the change now. <laughs> Worth the try. Foul play, says the referee. And I think he'll be a bit cross with himself based on that free kick. Not the execution he was looking for. Really good challenge. Lot to like about that pass. Well, that was a very respectable effort from such a long way out. Well, he hits it cleanly, and it's a very good strike, but just not on target. Nicolo Zaniolo. Barella has it. Long way out, this. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Barella and Italy giving the ball away and the counter looks on here options available Yassir Asani Liber Ramadani Seferi Asani really good interception Opportunity in the wide area. Chance here. Oh, not to be. Stopping a certain goal. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Ball back with Italy now. Fruitful looking attack. And he's broken free. Four marks for trying it. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it.
my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Nedim Bayrami. Mitai. Poor pass. Good ball over the top. Twenty minutes remaining. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Jorginho! Nedim Bayrami. How can he take them on and beat them? But really sticking to the task defensively. Nicolo Zaniolo. Let's fly here. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. Well, that's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Yasir Asani. Howland Seferi. Very quick thinking there. Seferi. And the referee playing advantage. And just in the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the... And the penalty is converted. A goal is his. And now he can exhale. Well, here we can see it again. And he's done well to read the intentions but just can't get a touch on it as it sails over him. So close to being a fantastic stop. Federico Chiesa. Fratesi. Adonto Di Lorenzo. Locatelli, oh he's gone for goal, well from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option, close though Stuart. Well he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end, he wasn't too far away was he? Did well to win the ball back. Di Lorenzo, cross fired over. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Zaniolo. Locatelli. Oh, fancy footwork. Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, they kept their shape defensively. Job done for now. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here by Rami. Zaniolo. And putting his body on the line. And striking it on the volley, just no luck. Well, good technique, but just wide of the target.
Trying to really get at the opposition here. Can he take the chance? And what a magical save it was! Played over. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuarts, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.